Imagine a distinct place outside of our solar system that has Earth-like planets with a habitable zone to live in, and also potential water on its surface like Pandora as we have all seen from the movie Avatar. Well, this could be true. If it is true, then it raises several questions. Could there be aliens like us humans? What does our research say? What are we doing to know more about it? Let's answer all these questions in today's video. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to talk about James Webb's space telescope observations of the trappiest one that give us some alien life clues. The trappiest one. About 40.66 light years away from Earth, there exists a cool red dwarf star called Trappist-1, which is slightly larger than Jupiter and has about 9% mass of the Sun. But the interesting thing to know is the seven known exoplanets that lie in the constellation Aquarius in this solar system. The age of this solar system is estimated to be around 7.6 billion years old, making it older than our solar system and raises questions about the existence of any extraterrestrial life formed there. Reasons to believe in the existence of life The seven exoplanets are designated as 1b1c, 1d, 1e, 1f, 2g, and 1 hour in alphabetic order, these planets have an orbital period ranging from 1 to 2 days around the stars. Here the planets D, E, F, and G are at a suitable distance from their star to allow liquid to exist and potentially be hospitable to life. In February 2018 study conducted on the Trappist-1 planets revealed that some of them could contain far more water than Earth's oceans. The planets closest to their star could have atmospheric water vapor, while others could have liquid water, and those farthest away could have ice one. The study also found that the density of each planet is less than expected, making Trappist-1 the most thoroughly known planetary system apart from our own one. Another study conducted in 2021 found that the Trappist-1 planets are likely made of similar materials as most rocky planets, such as iron, oxygen, magnesium, and silicon. However, they are different from Earth and have a notably different ratio of these materials as a result. The Trappist-1 planets are about 8% less dense than they would be if they had the same composition as Earth-2. Due to this reason, it has drawn the interest of our researchers and is being widely discussed about. Development of the Telescope Looking at the need to study further study far-off planets in other solar systems, as well NASA launched their James Webb Space Telescope, the agency's successor to their Hubble Telescope. It is designed to conduct infrared astronomy using its high-resolution and high-sensitivity instruments, allowing it to view objects too old, distant, or faint for the Hubble Space Telescope. The Webb was launched on 25 December 2021 on an Ariane 5 rocket from Kourou, French Guiana. The development of the telescope began in 1996, but due to enormous cost runs, it was finally completed in 2016, finally costing them over $10 billion. Shreds of evidence found James Webb Telescope is being used to study all seven exoplanets, and the results excruciate hopes of life on 1b. The wavelength of 1b was flat across observations made by JWST. This tells us that there exists no molecule can emit or absorb light. They observe that star activity dominates the observations of Trappist-1 b the flare spots and different cycles affect the brightness of the star. Due to its variable activity, it was difficult for the Hubble telescope to give its exact readings. In the recent readings, they had to correct these effects to accurately isolate the signals from the planet. They concluded that due to its proximity to the star, it receives more than 400 times the ultraviolet radiation received by the Earth from the Sun, making the surface temperature about 500 K or 226 degrees Celsius, thus destroying hopes for any possible formation of formation here, making a rocky, dry, and barren planet, unlike its potential sibling planets. Trappist-1c, though is more complicated, the temperature is estimated to be around 380 K or 107 degrees Celsius, which is half the temperature of 1b astronomers, observe similar traits of 1c and Venus, with 1c receiving 8% more infrared light than Venus. The readings of the wavelength show a shallow spike and fallen wavelength, suggesting the presence of an atmosphere that is very thin similar to that in Venus, or it might just be a rocky surface that absorbs light and the atmospheric condition is being hypothesized to be a thin layer of oxygen present rather than most it being carbon dioxide, as it is in the case of Venus atmosphere. What are its implications? 
the entire TRAPPIST-1 system can't merely be judged based on these two exoplanets here. The good news is the decreasing temperature trend observed as we away from the star, increasing the chances of finding water in other planets. The exact information about the formation and composition could be studied after the data from other planets have been received as well. Then comparing the wavelengths to see how dense one atmosphere is to another could give us a clear idea about it which is possible only by studying various spectrums of light related to it. The two planets couldn't bring any positive news, however. Next summer, the JWST is going to take readings of 1E that has similar mass, size, and density to Earth, and also has a similar amount of light incident upon from its star, and is in that Goldilocks zone so it has a higher chance of any possible life forms. We have also other data coming from different red dwarf stars like TRAPPIST-1, all with the intent to find any possible life form that could exist. Thank you for watching this video. If you have to learn something new, please don't forget to like it, share and subscribe to our channel. Let's meet in the next video.